my email inbox is full of strong opinions both ways about Trump, DeSantis, their latest little things. So let's just dig into it. In case you didn't know, Trump went to social media and essentially posted a meme or whatever. He posted something that accused Ron DeSantis of grooming high school girls. Okay, so that's pretty ugly, right? It's pretty ugly. It's what he did. Ron DeSantis got up today and kind of responded, but not really. This is what he had to say. And I'd also just say this. I spend my time delivering results for the people of Florida and fighting against Joe Biden. That's how I spend my time. I don't spend my time trying to smear other Republicans. Okay, now I am not actually going to get into the right or wrong of this because I don't care. Remember, I don't care. I want them to fight. I know it's going to be an ugly fight. I know there's going to be mud thrown around. I am desperately afraid that my country is imploding before my eyes. I care about my sons and their sons and their sons after them. I don't give a crap about Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis, either of them, neither of them. I care about my country. So if it's going to be one of those two who leads, that's fine. That's fine. I'll follow. Go. I'll vote for you. I want the best, toughest guy who can take on the communists. Throw all the mud you want at each other. I don't care. I'm not saying that's how you have to see it. But I want you to understand what you're seeing. If you're on Team Trump, you have no problem with this whatsoever. Whatever. Trump's a junkyard dog. That's probably why you're on Team Trump. That's why he does what he does. If you've switched over to Heavy D, and you probably love his answer, and you're mad at Trump about the whole thing, maybe you're saying things like, that's out of line. But let me caution you on that for a moment. Maybe it is out of line. I don't know. I, I don't try to grade like that. I consider politics a contact sport anyway. But maybe for you, that that really is. That's way too far. Maybe it's over the line. Maybe you're mad about it. Okay, fine. You, let's say I give you that. Maybe it's over the line. Ron DeSantis, if he's going to lead the GOP, potentially be president of the United States of America, do you think he's going to have to withstand some attacks that are over the line? out of line, inappropriate, dishonored, whatever, whatever, look, whatever word you want to put on it. He wants to lead the nation. That's what it's going to take to lead the nation. You're going to have to withstand that kind of stuff. But remember what you're seeing. doesn't matter which team you're on. Maybe you're on neither team like me. But remember what you're seeing. A fighter, a MMA fighter, UFC, an MMA fighter. If I walk in to fight Chris, we're going to fight in the cage. And I've spent my entire life kickboxing. I'm a kickboxer. That's what I do. Chris, he spent his entire life wrestling. He's a wrestler, high school champion, all those things. And we get in that cage. It's, a, it's really, really important that I keep the fight on my feet. I want to sit there and I want to trade punches and kicks with Chris because I'm a kickboxer. That's what I do. Oh, by the way, I'm not a kickboxer. This is just a hypothetical. Chris needs that fight to go down to the ground because he's a wrestler. That's what Chris does. Get it down to the ground. You fight the fight you want. What you're seeing right now is Donald Trump trying to do what has worked for him over and over and over again. I see a lot of people saying Trump's an idiot for this. Trump's an idiot. Trump's an idiot. I'll get to that in a moment. You can call him an idiot all you want. Donald Trump wants to drag you into the mud to have a vicious fight with him because that's what he likes, that's what he's good at, and that's his realm. And he has been 100% successful at that. Virtually every Republican, whether it was the last primary or after he got elected, didn't matter who it was. If you were a Republican and Trump wanted to muddy you up, and you wanted to try to do the, I'm above all that thing, he would find a way to muddy you up. Remember what a choir boy Rubio was? No, 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 we're not going to get into that petty stuff. None of that petty stuff. And then they started him and Trump going back and forth about their uh, size of themselves. I'm not going to go into the detail of their kids listening. Remember how petty and immature and small that was? Well, the second Rubio began to go back at Trump, 
about the size of any part of their physical body. He lost. It wouldn't have even mattered if he had won that little burn war. The second you climb off the podium and get down in the mud, you've lost. Because now you're in the mud with a junkyard dog who wants to be in the mud. He's already beaten you. What you're seeing out of Trump, whether you like it or hate it, put the motion aside for a second, whether you love it or hate it, this kind of uh, the real personal stuff, real nasty stuff him and his team are throwing out there, he's trying to bring the fight to his style. It's a style. This is how he wants to fight. Love it, hate it, I don't give a crap, but that's what he's doing. He needs Ron DeSantis to stop doing what Ron DeSantis has currently been doing. Every time Trump has done something like this so far, Ron DeSantis has simply gotten up and said, ah, I'm not getting into that. Look at the scoreboard. Ah, I'm not getting into that. Look at the scoreboard. Up, ah, not getting into that. Look at the scoreboard. I'm governor. Up, ah, not my problem. That ain't going to work for Trump. That means DeSantis is fighting the fight he wants to fight instead of the fight Donald Trump wants to fight. Trump needs to drag him in. A lot of DeSantis people, maybe this is you, are, in my opinion, a bit... Well, I would say this. Trump people and DeSantis people are both overconfident about one thing, in my opinion. The DeSantis people are overconfident that he'll be able to withstand this. Every other Republican has thought the same thing. Every one of them. Oh, I won't get into that with him. Not going to do that with him. And every single other Republican ended up doing that with him, climbing down into the mud. Trump will keep needling. He will keep prying until he finds that thing that Ron DeSantis simply can't stay quiet about. And every guy has that thing. We're full of pride, right? That's who we are. Remember Trump's first shot at Heavy D? It was that really, it was a dumb move by Trump just because of the timing of it. He blasted him right after the election when Florida was all we felt good about. But remember what he brought up in that, in that blast? Remember what he brought up? DeSantis' wife. Trump's famous for that. Did it with Cruz, too. Brought up his wife. Why? Is Trump some malicious person that hates his wife? No. He's trying to goad him into it. And what can goad a man into it? Like bringing his wife up, right? It didn't work. But I'd say the heavy D people are probably a little overconfident just because it hasn't worked yet. They think it never will. Now, that said, I will say that I believe the Trump people, and I believe this firmly, are overconfident in something, and it's, it could be a problem. It could be a problem. I will tell you what that something is in just a moment. I